Elizabeth Warren's 2020 presidential tour continues tonight in South Carolina on the heels of a swing through San Juan. Given her recent weather, she picked a pretty good time for a visit to Puerto Rico. But as Adam Riley tells us, this was far from a feel-good winter getaway. At first glance, San Juan, Puerto Rico seems almost too good to be true, especially coming from cold, gray Massachusetts. But in her speech at the 200-year-old Teatro Tapia in San Juan's Old Town, Warren accentuated the negative, saying that 16 months after Hurricanes Maria and Irma, the island has been betrayed by President Trump. Far too many homes still have blue tarps instead of roofs. Far too many insurance claims still haven't been paid. Far too many people who lost loved ones have not received the federal funeral assistance they are entitled to. Puerto Rico has not been treated with respect. And now, Warren added, Trump is actually thinking about diverting disaster relief money for the island to fund his proposed wall on the Mexican border. Now, make no mistake, this wall is dumb. (laughs) But it serves the president's purposes, turning people against people particularly against people of color. As Warren told it, Trump's policies are just the latest example of Puerto Rico getting mistreated by the mainland. The legacy of colonialism dies hard. I say that it's time to change that. Her solution? A so-called Marshall Plan for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. A full audit of Puerto Rico's crippling $70 billion debt and letting the island determine its relationship with the U.S., a seeming endorsement of statehood or even independence. Now, anytime a candidate gets local on the campaign trail, they risk coming across like they're pandering, especially if they don't really know their stuff. But you could tell throughout Warren's speech that she actually has deep knowledge of issues that have animated Puerto Ricans for decades. And afterward, that fluency earned her some high marks from San Juan's mayor, Carmen Yulín Cruz. It reveals that she's done her homework, that this isn't the first time, obviously, that she is uh, introduced to topics about Puerto Rico, that she knows how the Puerto Rican reality is different. Also impressed, Gretchen Sierra Zarita, an activist and political strategist, who said Warren's interest in the island goes back years. We are very used to, because Puerto Ricans participate in primaries, for politicians to come here looking for primary votes and coming for donations. Um, And we're very jaded and cynical about it, because after they get that, they leave and they forget oftentimes. I think Elizabeth Warren has particular credibility because she was into Puerto Rico when there was nothing in it for her. Still, not everyone was dazzled. Maria Procaccino thought Warren spent too much time itemizing local grievances and not enough talking about how Democrats can win in 2020. She told a lot of the local people here what they already know. What are we going to do to change it? That said, the overall response was positive. And while Puerto Rico doesn't vote in the presidential election, this visit showcased Warren's interest in a certain set of Latino political issues, an important signal as her campaign takes shape. Reporting from San Juan, Puerto Rico, Adam Riley, WGBH News.